on in that marathon. The oldest, by the way. Let's take the show now on the road, shall we? Now, debate over the ideal candidate for the running mate in the Azimio One Kenya Lions presidential campaign persists with women leaders weighing in on the matter. The Azimio Women League, together with the Mindeleo Yawanawake, are now pushing for a female running mate for Raila Odinga and have fronted the name of now Kenya party leader Martha Karua for that post. Our reporter Grace Nganga kicks off our broadcast tonight. <laughs> Barely a day after Kalonzo Mosioka and his allies upped their demand that the running mate slot in the Raila Odinga presidential campaign be reserved for the Waipa party leader. Women leaders led by Kitui Governor Charu Tingilu have come up with their own list of demands on the same. The Azimio Women League has partnered with Maendeleo Wanawake to push for a woman to be considered for the post to deputize Odinga. It's as simple as this. Martha Karua, Deputy President Azimio. We do not know why it's rocket science. We do not see how you cannot see the value of Martha. And one of the values of Martha is, of course, she's a national figure. She has vied for presidency. Martha has been a minister. She knows how to run government. And Martha's record speaks for itself. The new twist in the running mate debate could further strain relations between Gilu and Kalonzo, who have recently trapped bars after Gilu and her colleague governors from Ukambani challenged Kalonzo's supremacy in the region's politics. Speaking after a consultative meeting with Azimio Women League Monday, Gilu was, however, quick to downplay any differences between her and the Waipa party leader. Have you seen any difference between me and the leadership here? If there is a person who has, difference with, who has any difference with me, me, I have no difference with anybody. My difference is only about the issues that we represent. The group is, however, eager to get a woman to deputize Raila and say they will soon forward the names to the former Prime Minister and President Uhuru Kenyatta for consideration. As you know, there are 26 political parties here. And we as women representing those 26 political parties will certainly sit down. And you sit down also with Baba. And you sit down with the, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta and tell him this is what we want. It is under our constitution, uh, Article 27, three of our constitution it's very clear that we as women we have our 50 percent share those days of one to seven when you when you used to have one man to seven women those days are over so what you're saying as nairobi women and kenyan women is that we have we want an equal share in the next dispens dispensation two allies with 52 percent on the table it is not asking for too much to say the second in command should be a woman of Kenya. This, even as IEBC has given presidential hopefuls until Thursday next week to pick their animates for the August election. The additional pressure by the women further complicates the running mate arithmetic for Udinga, with sources indicating that the Mount Kenya region is rooting for former Gatanga member of parliament Peter Kenneth. Others on the list for consideration for the slot include Laikipia Governor Nderito Moraithi, Nakuru Governor Lee Kinyanjui, and Agriculture CS Peter Munya. Everywhere in politics there is negotiation and talks. I have been in talks many times before even when we were forming Jubilee. I know these talks, how they happen. I, we know how negotiations are done. And what we are saying is that we are now also in the negotiation space for Martha Karua. Karua had her Raila moment this March in a surprise move that ended months of speculation over which side of the political divide she would eventually join. With the IABC deadline of 10 days for a presidential aspirant to pick their running mate, Odemlile Raila Odinga could have a lot in his hands as now the Azimio Women League are demanding for women to have the same slot. Grace Nganga KT News, Nairobi. All right. So, of course, it's a very tough balancing act for any presidential.